Hi everyone, I am in lockdown here in Newcastle and I've actually been really, really loving this time uh, and so is this one. Um, so I've been sharing live on my Facebook page, Meg Linton, um, live yoga flows every day this week. So feel free to jump on there and do some live yoga with me. But I wanted to also share on YouTube um, a workout that I'm going to do today. So it's a little bit of a mix of everything. Uh, you won't need much equipment. The only thing you're going to really need is a band. Um, and it's just any simple sort of resistance band will do. Now, I'm also using some of these discs um, to uh, slide my feet on. Um, but you can use uh, takeaway lid containers if you are on carpet. And you can use socks if you are on wooden floor. So that will all be fine. It is really important to listen to your body. You know your body better than I do. So if you need to rest at any point, please, please choose to rest. Look after yourself, have fun. We're gonna start off with a warm up. Um, it's super, super important to take the modifications if you need to modify. I'm gonna be using a pull up bar at the back there, but if you don't have one of those, you can always do the exercise standing with a band um, or hook the band onto anything that is, of course, above your head that is stable. All right, guys, um, other than that, have fun. Now, I'm actually going to be doing a little bit of balancing. Now, I actually have a balance beam that my dad has made for me. Freaking legend. Now, if you don't have a balance beam, then grab a yoga block or something that you can stand on. Um, so a sturdy book is a good idea, but even if you don't have anything, just standing on the ground is perfect to practice balance. Cool. We're going to start off by warming up our wrists. So I have an extensive wrist and spine mobility video on my YouTube already. So if you want to do longer on your wrist, please, please do that. I recommend doing it every day. Fingers are spread nice and wide, bringing the hands down to the ground. Arms are nice and straight. Then we're going to tuck our tailbone under. So you'll hear me use the, the dialogue, uh, sad dog often. So my dog's pretty happy at the moment, so she's not going to be there. But um, when we are in this sad dog position, it's as if the tail is tucked between the legs. And then from here, we're going to start to do some little circles with our arms. So today, we're going to be doing a few uh, strength-based movements and then pretty much 30 seconds worth of higher intensity work to get the heart rate up. All right, um, we will be repeating it. I'm really big on repetition. Um, and I'll be doing it in real time with you guys as well. So yeah, just wanted to share some little movements that I've been doing at home in lockdown. Movement is up to us, change direction, and movement is what we do, right? Uh, I truly believe exercise is a modern day word. Um, movement is what our bodies and our minds are designed to do, right? So even if you're in lockdown, make the choice to put back to yourself. We've been loving it at the moment. It's been really, really fun to, to be at home and to play. We're going to move our spine. So I'm going to get you to move your spine now in any direction. So just allowing your body to just melt through all different directions here. Up, down, around. Grip the floor with your fingertips. Maybe you come up onto the fingertips. Just play and listen to what your spine is telling you here. Take your time. We're going to spend about five more breaths here in the open. So keeping with that, just allowing the body to move left and right. Now bring your fingertips out to the side. So for, from this position, we are facing the fingertips to the side of your mat and very, very slowly starting to go left and right. She knows she's not allowed to have that ball. That's my uh, lacrosse ball. And she absolutely knows that that is not hers. Um, but she's being cheeky because we're on video. I love her. <laughs> I'm surprised the ball's still in one piece, to be honest. It doesn't have teeth marks all over it. Beautiful. From here, tuck your toes. We're going to shake out the wrists and just do your best to sink back onto your heels. From here, we're going to lift up, stretch out through the quads and the hip flexors and then come back down. Now, it's up to you how much you want to get into your quads here. So just slowly come down. Now you might need to bring your torso up a little higher. So if that feels too much into your quads, don't do it. Just go to the point where you feel a decent stretch down your quads, but no more than that. So take your time. We're going to go three more of these. Definitely feeling my quads from yesterday. Did an online class for Redhead Wellness Century. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling it. 
Cool. Alrighty, from this position, we're gonna come up, we're gonna get into our hip flexors. We're gonna step the left foot forward, right hand down, left hand up, breathe in, and then exhale, come back. Let's continue with that, just changing sides as you move. So super slow movement, step the foot outside the hand, open up and then come back. No rush here. Oh, it actually feels really nice. <laughs> Mainly pretty much body weight today, guys. You don't need any weights at all. Unless you want to, but I'm not going to use any weight. Um, we can do a lot with body weight, and I want you to think about how you can get your body moving three-dimensionally. Nice work, everyone. Last one. Let's just get a little bit of aware of our core. So from here, we're going to come into tabletop, tuck the tailbone under, so sad dog, tuck your toes, wrists underneath shoulders, and then lift off your knees, turbo cap. From this position, pull the belly button in towards the backbone and hold. My chin is tucked in slightly, belly to spine. My knees are about two centimeters off the ground. They are not high off the ground at all. Breathe here, maybe starting to feel that body warm up. Can you externally rotate through the shoulders here and round your upper back, holding for five, holding for four, holding for three, holding for two, and one, lift up your hips and walk your hands back to your feet. And slowly from here, ripple up your spine and come all the way to stand. We're gonna do a little bit of balancing before we start today. So I'm gonna use my beam. You can use the floor or a yoga block if you have one. Soften your standing knee. And we're going to start to lift up the floating leg. So I'm standing on my right. So I'm working into hip mobility here and starting to warm up the muscles of the feet the VMO, the vastus medialis on the inside of the knee joint, and of course the bum, the glute medius. These balance beams are amazing. Now, if you don't have an awesome dad like I do that can make them, the Foot Collective sell balance beams like this. They share amazing information on the feet and how our feet were never ever designed for shoes, right? Our foot is designed to be a foot. We have four layers of muscle, 33 joints, 26 bones in the foot alone, and we're putting them in shoes, and therefore we are starting to lose the structure of our feet. The muscles are starting to collapse, which means we're getting a medial rotation in our knees and our hips, which ends up down the track with knee surgery and really poor hips and low back pain. So it's really, really important to, to get into these muscles of the feet and fire them up. This is why these balance beams are amazing. Holding for five, holding for four, holding for three, Holding for two and one. Now you would have noticed my hip was moving all over the place there, perfect. The hip is a ball and socket joint. We are sitting in chairs constantly in the world we live in today, and it's teaching the hip to be hinge joint. It's not, it is a ball and socket joint, it is meant to move. So let's try the other side. So already I'm starting to warm up a fair bit. So we're getting into all these stabilizer muscles. And if you fall off, you fall off. I'm quite, I've got a wall either side of me here, and there's, not much room, so I can actually use that wall to help me keep balance. But if you've got no wall there, let yourself fall. It's all part of it. So we're here for at least another 30 seconds. So just let your hips um, move. Soften all of this. I can visualize that you're on a tightrope. And soften your face and your jaw. And notice what you can find here in these super awkward shapes. 15 seconds left to go. Really feeling the body start to fire up here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Woo. All right, just a little bit of warm up for the shoulders. We're gonna do a figure of eight with our shoulders here. And I want you to actually let your body move with this. So soften your knees and actually feel your whole torso start to move. Now, if you are a little um, feeling anything through your shoulders, still move your figure eight, but keep it little. You'll know where you need to be for this. All right, guys, slow down the arm swing and reverse it. Now, maybe that fucked with your head a little bit. <laughs> that should have, and it's good. We want to really um, work our brain. Every time we move, try to do something differently, right? And that's the neuroplasticity. We really want to start to fire and wire different neurons to create a different experience, and that's where we start to see change. 
Yes, it's uncomfortable. Perfect. We want it to be. Shake that out. Let's try the other side. So starting to warm up into that shoulder joint. Soften the knees. Start to move through the ankles. Slow it down and reverse it. It would be appropriate to add in that Missy Elliott song here, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, I, I'll see what I can do in the video. Leave it with me. All right, guys. Four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Give those wrists a little bit of a shake out. Now, if you need longer, then please do whatever it is that you need to do to warm up. We are going to come into our first move, which is a dragon squat. With a dragon squat, um, if you are first learning this movement and you've not done it before, you soften the standing knee and bring that leg behind you. The toe can touch down and then we're going to squeeze the shit out of our inner thighs. Eventually what we're looking to do is to get that back foot up off the ground. But again, if this is your first time doing a dragon squat, then I invite you to keep the back toes on the ground. All right, you guys got five each side of these. We're going to move nice and slow. We're going to have five on the right and five on the left, cooking that right leg. Soften that right knee, slowly let that foot come down. If you've not done this before, touch the toe, squeeze the inner thighs together, push through that right heel and slowly come back up to stand. Going for rep number two. Slowly bring that down, touch the foot if you need to, get low, squeeze the inner thighs and then coming all the way up. Right, three more reps. Now remember, this is the first part of the movement. You don't need to go super low because we're going to repeat this. Now, as I said, I'm really big on repetition. Listening to what our bodies need here and listening to your knees, playing with your balance and starting to get the legs nice and cooked. Let's change sides. So five reps, soften your standing knee. Again, on this first one, just touch down, squeeze the thighs, get a feel for it, push through the heel, start to rise. Rep number two. I'm really, really almost tucking my tailbone under here too. So we did that turbo cat at the start. I want you to think of the compression in your core here. So scoop the tailbone under, right? So sad dog through that tailbone and round your upper back. That will eventually will start to give you space to get that leg through. Beautiful. Slowly coming up, bring your feet nice and wide. Moving into some Cossack sides straight away. We've got 10 in total. Squeeze the straight leg, push down through your right heel and we slide across. That's one rep, we pause. Good, for two. Rep number three, squeeze the extended leg. Four. Beautiful, the feet are facing relatively forward here. Drive through that heel as you slowly push and slide five. Slide for six. The shoulders are staying level here. Really work through your adductors and feel the quadriceps squeeze and kneecap lift. Beautiful, guys. You're doing really, really well. Notice I'm moving super slow. I want you guys to stay into that pace. Beautiful. We'll go two more because I've lost count. <laughs> Last one here. Stay low. Alrighty, we're going to cook those legs a little bit more, moving into about 30 seconds of cardio. The, we're going to do a boxer squat here, so you can just step it or you can do little hops here. Alright, your choice. We are on for about 30 seconds. The hops are up to you. Please don't gauge your hops off my hops. So these, cook your legs. 15 seconds left to go. Maybe you step it, listen to what you need. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Breathe. Nice work, guys. Catch your breath. Doing really, really well. Nice. Alrighty. So we're going to roll through that again. So again, as I mentioned, bigger repetition. So we go back to the dragon squat. We're going in about 15 seconds. All right, so we're going to go through that whole section again. It's just five reps, but they are slow. So soft knee bend into that standing leg, compress through the core, tailbone tucks under. We've got five reps. So you moving slowly through this dragon squat, focusing on your balance and zipping those inner thighs in together. Again, the tailbone tucks under. 
One day, I might get the foot all the way through to the front. Two more reps, everyone. Heart rate flying up already. We are in a world where we move so fast. It is really about slowing it down, right? We need to move fast, 100%. You know, there'll be times in this workout where you're going to be moving fast. But it is about a balance. Take your time. It is not about rushing it. It is about paying attention when you move so that you are present. If you are moving and you're on your phone or you're on a treadmill watching a video or whatever it might be, or texting someone or taking selfies, you are not being present with your movement. One more. You'll get so much out of it. Oh, well done. Straight into the Cossack slides, everyone. So much more out of it. If you stay present with your movement, and that's where coming, uh, moving slow makes a huge difference. Pause here, squeeze. Push, pause, squeeze. Take your time. We are staying in that same plane, keeping the shoulders level. Squeeze the shit out of the extended leg. Push through those feet, really using that part of the foot called the tripod of the foot here. About 60% through the heel, 40% through the balls of the foot. We've got two more. You guys are doing amazing. One more. We go straight into those little boxer jumps. Take your time here. Setting it up. 30 seconds only. It's a little stance. It is not a lunge option. Step it like this or you can start to do little jumps. All right, guys, we're on. So please listen to what you need. So don't follow me with a jump to you listen to you. Maybe you do two in a row. Maybe do one, maybe do five. You know where you're at. Last 10 seconds. Legs should be absolutely cooking. Four, three, two, and one. Rest. Breathe. Catch your breath best you can. But one more round of that. Big deep breaths, guys. 15 seconds, last time through this one. I'd love to know how you guys go. So don't forget to leave a comment how you found this workout at the end. Let me know what you'd like to see. Soften your knee, last round of dragon squats. We've got five reps. Super slow, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then coming out, same leg. Four to go. Take it tight. <sighs> Really difficult to talk in these. So if you finish before I do, one, you're probably going too fast, but two, wait for me at the start of the next ones. Oh, last one. Oh, corked on the side. So finding the tripod of that left foot coming through. This side feels really open for me today, which is unusual. We're always changing left and right side, depending on where our hips are at and what we do. Had obviously quite a few days off with the lockdown. Being nice to pause. Really nice, actually. I've been loving it. Two more. One more to go. Huge fan of these squats. Great internal rotation into the hips. Beautiful. Let's open the hips now, coming to that uh, Cossack slide. Push through the heel, slide, and then squeeze. Push through the heel, slide, and squeeze. My feet are pretty much facing forward, right? So both of my feet are facing towards the camera. As I move through, I'm driving through that heel and then pushing again through the other heel. So it's a sliding motion and then squeezing the, length, uh, the long quad. So when I straighten that leg, I'm squeezing the shit out of it. Guys, we've got two more after this, and then this sequence into the legs is done. Thank God you're saying, I know me too, don't worry. Beautiful, please don't rush this. Come up, give it a little bit of a shake if you need to. We've got those boxer jumps. You don't have to jump. We're going in three, two, and one. It's a short stance. Listen to your knees. These absolutely cook the legs. You start from here if you're going to jump, and then you work through explosive, Quick, fast movements here. Again, 
The jump is completely optional. We've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Breathe. Catch your breath. Pause. Oh. So the next one we're going to be working our push up to a kick through. We'll turn the mat this way a little bit. We work a kick through. What we are looking for is compression. All right, so when we do our push up, we want to make sure that the elbows are going backwards or the shoulders away from the ears. We are also looking to tuck the tailbone under. We don't want to do this in our push up. Right, we want to squeeze the glutes and then come down to the ground and then push back up with the kick through. Right, so I'm going to be facing this way so you can see what I'm doing with the kick through. These are fun. Option one is you come back to a crouch, left foot outside, left hand, and then sit down. I'm kicking with the heel and then coming back. Right, and then right foot outside, right hand, kick through the heel and then come back. So I'm sitting down. In time, in the second and third rounds, we're going to crouch back, jump the left foot outside the left hand and kick through, bum stays off the ground and then crouch. Super fun, big round. Our cardio is little tuck-ups. So when we come into the tuck-ups, the arms are straight. You'll either step in, step out, step in, step out, or jump in, step back. All right, we've got three rounds. I'm going to grab my water. All right, so let's get this started. We only have five push-ups, but they're super, super, super slow. So hands come down to the ground. Tuck your tailbone under. First round is on our knees. So squeeze your core, pull the belly to your spine. Elbows go back. We slowly come down for one. Slowly push up. Take your time for two. Super slow. Get your chest as close to the ground as possible. Option for three. The forehead comes down to the ground, right? For four, forehead comes down. That is not your ball. And for five, slowly coming down, push back up. Alrighty, we're setting up through those kick throughs, guys. So we're, from here, we're going to do a step variation. Left foot outside, left hand, slide the right foot through, sit down, push through the right hand, come back to a crouch. Other side, right foot outside, right hand, slides through. We've got five each side of these. Boo, that is not your ball. Alrighty, have fun with these. Does monkey see monkey do? Work through. We're working through compression of the core. So that means angry cat your spine as you step through. I'm rounding my upper back. Keep going, everyone. You're doing really well. These are hard. Four more to go. Step, kick through, come back. Step, kick through, come back. Round your spine. Step, kick through, come back. And step, kick through. And back, we've got our tuck-ups. Give your wrists a bit of a shake here. All right, guys, we've got about 30 seconds of our tuck-up. Hands come down, option. Step in and out. Your choice, or in and step out. Keep going. Wherever you are, these should be difficult. Wanting to get the heart rate up. Can't talk, keep going. Halfway. Oh my goodness, my legs are cooked. Maybe three more. Oh. Rest. Oh, the sweat is real. So, we're about 30 seconds rest here before we go again. The push ups are slow. The kick through is this time we're going to add a jump. Or, please stay with that first variation. 15 seconds left. I don't know about you, but. <laughs> Um, my fairy friend is loving the lockdown. <laughs> She's like, space, we get to hang out, speak. Except that's not your ball. No, no. Looks like I've lost it. All right. <laughs> Let's go for our push-ups, everyone. Now, if you want to come on your toes, you're welcome. However, we're not going down with the hips. We want to get our whole bodies down to the ground. Slow push-ups, shift forward, elbows back, off we go. It is just five reps. Get as close to the ground as possible. You tuck your tailbone under and the belly draws to the spine the whole time. Two more. Three, two, one. 
Two more reps. If you are worming your body, drop your knees down, let go of the ego, and just work through with good form. And then we are done. Beautiful. From that position, we're now going to go into those kick throughs. Have fun with this. These are super fun. Round your spine, jump, and kick through. Come back. And again, this is a practice. That's why I'm really big on repetition. So have fun with this. Get a little float. Six more. So it's the same foot that steps outside the hand. Oh. Four to go. Three. Two. And one. Woo. Breathe. Check out your wrists. So there's 30 seconds of tuck ups. Again, you can step them, you can walk them, whatever works for you, your choice. We're going to go in three, we're going to go in two, <laughs> thanks babe, and for one, step, or little jumps. That's only 30 seconds. These will get your heart rate up a fair bit. Aim, to get those hips over the shoulders. 15. Go for quality, not quantity on these ones. Five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. One more round. Guys are doing real well. So we work compression with everything we do. You know that turbo cat we did at the start? This movement here. We were tuck, tucking the tailbone under. I want you to think that with everything you do. Yeah, that sad dog. Really engaging through the core. We've got 15 seconds until we go again. So push ups, kick throughs, tuck ups. <sighs> Try to catch your breath. <laughs> All right, guys, let's let's get it on. So slow push ups. All right, your fingers are spread, tailbone tucks under. So working through compression. Three, two, one, slow. Don't rush it. Don't rush the up. Easy to go fast. I want you to keep these ones slow. We're going to go fast in a minute. Take your time. Shift forward. Shoulders away from the hips. Elbows wrapping inwards. Two more. One. Oh. Great work, guys. We've got those tuck ups. Remember, you can step it. You do not have to jump. All right, your choice. We've got 10 of them. Five, let's just say five each side, sounds better. Let's go. I'm glad you've made that ball yours, watch out. It's always fun training around your furry friends. Six more. Have fun with this, these are super playful. They work everything. My legs are cooking. Last two. Oh. One. Oh. Shake out your wrists. Guys, we've got one more round of tuck ups. Remember, you can step these if you need to. All right, so please listen to what you need. We're going to go in four, in three, two, and one. Options. Get your hips high. Or jump. Last set here. Big, big rest to follow. So lift up your hips, tuck your tailbone under. Last ten. Three, two, one. Rest. Breathe. You know, rest is one of the most important things we can do. Like everything in life, it is a balance. There's an old quote from that zoo that says, in nature, everything is accomplished and nothing is hurried. We are exactly the same. We have to give and receive. We have to move slow. We have to move fast. We have to rest and we have to get stuff done. We are constantly on the get stuff done train. We are going to burn out. 
So use this time to rest in a pause, to replenish, to nurture, to give back to yourself. So we are now going to work into our pull, right? So what we are, this is really, really important. So in our pull, we want to really uh, work through these upper back and scapular muscles. In the world we live in these days, we are so like this. We're using our phones, devices, and then you add on stress and tension. Now, I spoke before about the feet. When we lose the structure of the muscles of our feet, what happens is we start to medially rotate. So the knees roll inwards, the hips roll inwards. So we start to get like this in our posture, right? And again, that's meaning down the track knee surgery because the knee is a hinge joint. We want to fix our posture so that we are open. Shoulders back, tailbone actually tucks under. This is a whole other video on the feet. I'm not going to go there now. Uh, I actually have done a video, I'll put it in the bottom. But we want to be in this really nice open position. So we want strong upper back muscles. Now, I'm going to be using a pull-up bar, but you don't have to. So what you can use is a band attached to something up high. And you'll come down to one knee and work into a wide lat pull. Right, that is your option. Now, if you don't have anything to um, tie the band onto up high, you'll be having the band here at shoulder height, stepping back and then pulling wide, right? So please work with what you're going to work with. We have five slow repetitions. Then we're going to use the band to work a band pull apart. So when we're working this band pull apart, we're also going to combine it with a step back lunge for balance. So we'll step back, pull the band apart, squeeze the scapula together and then come back. So we have five on each side of that. Let's get this out of the way. So we are now going to work our pull. So again, it's going to be up to you what you do. So I'm going to use a pull-up bar just because I've got one here in the house. Hopefully the house doesn't fall down. We'll see how we go. That would be great entertainment for you. Then we go to the bend pull apart. And then this is where we are going to work with the climbers, right, for our cardio. So I'm not going to need my mat for this one. I'm going to move this out of the way. Um, and we are going to get sweaty. So let's just, let's get out of the way. So we have five slow pull repetitions here. So wherever you are, slowly working through for one or two. Now, if you're using the band, you're going to be here, right? For three, slow. For four, squeeze the elbows here and the lats for five. So I'm drawing the elbows down my back, squeezing the scapula. Beautiful, guys. From here, you might need to use that same band. So unravel it, find your space. It is a step back lunge with a band pull apart. So from here, pull the band apart, arms are straight, this time not bent, and then come back up to stand. So step back lunge with a band pull apart. So I'm squeezing the scapula together here. Arms are dead straight this time, so I'm getting into the triceps. And keep the shoulders away from the ears and disengage the traps. All right, five more. Good. This is our last set of movement for today, everyone. Four. So give it everything you've got. Three. Good. Two. And one. You're going to grab your socks or your discs or your takeaway containers. We put them on the slippery side on the carpet or if you're on your wood, you'll be using towels underneath your feet. Come into your plank pose. And we start to draw the knees into the chest for mountain climbers. So working through that compression, rounding through my upper back. Keep going here, 15 seconds. Belly draws to spine, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. Now, if they're not for you, no problems. You can just stand up and jog on the spot. Perfectly fine. We have two more rounds of that, everyone. So remember, your pull is just what you can make it, right? Tying a band to something, they are super, super helpful. Most of us have a resistance band. We got one through last COVID. So use what you can. Now we're going in about 15 seconds. So five uh, wide pulls. So working into your pull up or into your standing pull. Then we're working into a standing step back lunge with a band pull apart. Let's get ready. Going in five, four, three, two, and one. Go for it. Five slow reps. Don't rush them. Alrighty, 
Let's find that bend and moving into our pull apart. All right, guys. So from here, stepping back, using our balance, pulling that bend, nice, strong, straight arms. Step back, pull apart, watch the wall. Step back, watch the dog, pull apart. Keep going. So seven more reps here. My weight is in the front heel. Squeeze through the triceps. The trapezius stays down, right? We do not want to bunch up the traps around the ears. We do that with stress enough anyway. Work on your balance. The knee and the ankle are tracking. So I'm really using that tripod of the foot to work through this lunge. Two more to go. Pull, arms as straight as possible. Last one. Nice. Oh. All right, guys, let's get those climbers out the way. Now, if you want to work a little bit harder, you can do them quite slow. All right, so keeping shoulders over wrists the whole time and then working through your core, working through compression, up to you what pace you go here. Keeping shoulders stacked above wrists the whole time. Super hard to talk. You guys keep going. 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh shit. One more round. Catch your breath. Thanks, Boo. You're really helping. Appreciate it. So, big breaths here. We've got one more round. Now, if any of you are wondering where my pull up bar is from, it was $19 from Target. You can get them online. They're perfect for home use. You just need a door frame. And if I can set it up, anyone can. They're amazing to use and a really good tool. Um, again, you can tie the bands to them if you don't have anything that is up higher, but definitely recommend them. Let's get these last round out of the way so that I can have some lunch. <laughs> All right, guys. Last round, five pull up, five bend pull apart. And if she'll let me, 30 seconds of slow or fast mountain climbers. Now if you pull up too, if you need to pull your feet down like I did in that last one and jump up and work the eccentric, then do that. Listen to what you need. Right, that was the first way that my coach taught me how to do pull ups was working the eccentric. I'll save that for a separate video. Let's get, I just did one extra pull up. Shouldn't have done that. So let's get moving on this last round, everyone. We're gonna go in three, two, and one. Five reps. Slow. Last one. Oh, shit. Step back lunge, bend, pull apart. Do your best with your animals. Nice and strong in the bend. Work through here. All right, so if you're finding this easy, Go a little bit tighter on that bend. You want to squeeze the shit out of your triceps here. Draw the scapula together like you're squeezing someone's hand between your shoulder blades. Five more, super slow. Four left. Three to go. Oh, two to go. Oh, one more. Woo! Let's get this out of the way. Don't think about it. Arms are straight, shoulders forward over wrists, and go for it. I like to go slow in my climbers. I find them much harder than going faster. Keep your tailbone tucked under. Really work the compression. So we've worked our core with everything we've done today. Ah. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Oh, child's pose. Breathe. Thanks, boo. That's sweaty. Thanks. Oh, take a big breath in and a breath out. Breath in. Breath out. From here, come up. Step your right foot forward. I'm gonna stretch out through those hip flexors. So this will be different for everyone. Maybe you need to be here. 
maybe it feels good for you to come down and we're just going to open up that right hip by gently pushing on my right knee come into the blade edge of my right foot if that is available to you feel free to open up let me know how you found that today guys please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed that um it's been really nice to share movement over lockdown and you know i do it anyway so very happy to share uh, to you guys because movement is essential for our well-being and our health there are three things actually it's our mind movement and our heart all three of those need to be looked after for us to feel balanced and to come into equilibrium now for some of you you might want to bend that back knee and start to reach behind and stretch out through the quadricep especially in those dragon squats they get a, a good working through those quads if this doesn't happen don't worry or you can use a strap it's no big deal again if you're after live yoga every day this week through lockdown i'm showing it on my facebook page from here step that foot back let's go the other side i'm not going to stretch for too long i've got plenty of yin yoga videos on my channel i highly recommend doing yin i do it every day i literally do it before i go to bed every day you don't have to i'm not saying do that but i am saying do it every now and then it is so important um <laughs> it's so important for um our health we need to move and we need to pause everything is a balance if we are just consistently being busy maybe you pick up that back foot reach behind and stretch your quad then we're gonna break and i've been there before and it's not worth it especially now while we're in lockdown maybe you're watching you somewhere else in the world please take the time to pull back into yourself as i said those three things are elemental for our health we need to look after our mind we need to look after our body and move it and we also need to pause so that we can listen to our heart right it is not about the perfection it is not about the people pleasing it is not about trying to be perfect it is about appreciating what it is in this moment without the need for more soles of the feet together take an inhale and exhale gently fold so it's opening up into the adductors into the hips too often in life we're constantly moving to reach a goal or to be better than and i just want you to think about the concept of being totally okay with how it was today this is it it's perfect in this moment we have all we need and we have no need for it to be any different than what it was so let go of the striving and give yourself permission to arrive be content with what's already here right now and what you'll find is that that will create a sense of ease you'll feel an immense flow of energy and vitality and then that will give you the ability to do more take a full breath in and a breath out from here coming up we're just going to do a very very gentle twist left leg goes forward right leg over the top left hand wraps around and then with a long spine start to look over your right shoulder take a few Take a few breaths here and then gently come back to center. Let's change sides. And starting to twist. I swear she gets so jealous of the phone and my yoga mat. Anybody else's dog the same? <laughs> Take a breath in and a breath out. You guys are done, everyone. Well done. <laughs> Super proud of you all. I'd love to know how you found that. Um, I'd love to know, um, you know, what you, you felt through that movement. Um, if you had fun, please comment below. Let me know what you'd like to see. And of course, please like and subscribe. It helps me bring you more videos as well. And I'll be starting a channel soon on Patreon, um, which will be yoga, which will be for a small membership rate. Um, we can do full practices. I'm going to be sharing some series on there of movement as well. So keep your eye out for that as well. Thank you so, <laughs> thank you so much, everyone. Have yourselves the best day. Oh, and before I forget, don't forget to go out and support your local cafes and the people who are selling food, especially if you're in Newcastle. This beautiful bowl that I've had in the freezer, she was like, oh my God, I want some. It's from the Wea store in Newcastle. They're open. Go and support your community if you can, if you're in Newcastle and let them cook for you. Let them make you coffees over this time of the lockdown. Thank you so much, Wea store. I'm truly excited to eat this.